What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we are checking out this. This is the all new Department 10 Amped 2 by Blackstar. Let's do it! All right guys, hope you're doing great out there today. If this is your first time here at my channel, my name is Kyle and what I do is I take awesome, high gain related guitar gear, I record it with a simple SM57 setup and I give you the unprocessed audio on your end. But today, we don't really have time for introductions because uh, we've got a very, very feature heavy product here. This is the all new Blackstar Amp 2 and you might be looking at it asking, what does it do? A better question is, what does this thing not do? Because it literally does just about everything. It is one of the most insanely feature rich pieces of gear I have ever laid my hands on and uh, honestly, I didn't even know that I was excited about this thing until I tried it. So with that being said, I have to thank Zounds and Blackstar because Zounds are the ones who partnered with Blackstar to send this unit out to me to check out here with you guys. So if you guys end up liking what you see in this video, the Amp 2 will be available via the Zounds affiliate link down below in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and jump into those features because we have a lot of ground to cover. So starting right off the bat with the main question, what is this thing? Well, it is a 100 watt high headroom amplifier. This thing is your preamp and your power amp in a box, including effects, lots of them. And it is basically your entire guitar rig in a pedal that fits in your gig bag. So what all does Blackstar give us in this amp in the box format here? All right guys, so let's start with the amplifier section. We have a three-way switch and this is a voicing switch. Not only is it a voicing switch, but it's gonna determine how much gain uh, the amp has. In the top setting, we have a USA setting. In the middle, we have a UK setting. And in the bottom, we have a classic. So starting with the USA setting, this is gonna be like a Fender Blackface clean type of preamp. It is going to be clean. There is not really going to be any gain going on here. And when we move down into the UK setting, it's gonna be more of like an AC30. So again, it's gonna be more of a clean platform, but when you crank it up a little bit, there will be some, a little bit of tube saturation style gain going on. But down in the bottom, most of the people who are here for my channel, I'm familiar with my audience, they're gonna be here for the high gain tones and we are definitely gonna get into that. You're gonna find the high gain tones on the classic setting here on this three-way voicing switch. And then on top of that, you have pretty much your standard controls. As far as amplifiers go, we have a gain control, bass, middle, treble, and a master volume that's gonna determine the overall output of the amplifier. Moving over to the power amp section, we have three different responses on a switch here. We've got an EL84 type response, we've got EL34, and we've got 6L6. And you can use all three of these responses with any of the voices of the amp. So essentially, you're really going to be able to fine tune not only the feel and the sound of the amp, but you're also gonna be able to come over here and fine tune the output because you have a three-way power selector switch. You've got one watt, 20 watt, 100 watts. And even if we were to stop it right there, that gives you a nice range of dialable tones in a small package, but there is still so much more going on with this pedal. There are so many features, in fact, that I'm probably either going to forget or gloss over a lot of stuff. Sorry, Blackstar. But if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments of this video and I'll do my best to get down there and answer them for you as I can. But now that we've got the amp out of the way, let's move over here. We've got a drive section that also has a three-way switch. So this drive section is foot switchable. It can act as a boost, a drive, or a fuzz. So a boost, you're gonna get a clean volume boost that's just gonna make things louder and it's going to push the front end of the amplifier a little harder. The drive section is actually really really interesting because in the manual for this thing the drive actually changes depending on the voice of the amplifier to essentially better suit which amplifier you're using so if you're using the drive but you're using the usa voicing which is you know your fender type clean it's going to act as more of like a drive pedal as in you know a tube screamer not boosting a high gain amp it's going to add some dirt but it's not going to tighten the amp up and it's not going to increase that output level like crazy but if you are on the classic setting that drive is actually going to act like an overdrive in front of a high gain amp 
where it's going to tighten up the front end, add some saturation and add some mid and high content in order to make things cut a little bit better. Down in the fuzz control here, I think you can pretty much figure out what a fuzz does. And of course, we've got our drive, our tone, and our level here. So those are your three controls to control the drive section overall. Moving down, we have a full on like effects processing section here. Each individual section of the effects that are included on this are all foot switchable. They have their own individual foot switches. So we have a modulation section. This gives us, we have a modulation section. This gives us a couple different types of modulation. It's not just limited to one. Again, we have a three-way switch that has a chorus and a flanger. We have a tremolo and we also have a phaser. And then we've got time, depth, and level controls for each of those. Moving over to the modulation, we've got time, feedback, and level, and we've got moving over to the delay section, the de -de 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 delay, we've got time, feedback, and level, and we have three different types of delay. We have linear, we have analog, and we have shimmer. Again, foot switchable, individually foot switchable, and then finally over here on reverb, we've got a time and a level control for the reverb, and then we've got a room, a spring, and a plate style reverb all on a three-way switch we also have a tap tempo here so if you want to set your delay to a tap tempo well guess what you can do that you don't have to just rely uh rely on the controls that are on the front panel of this amp slash pedal thing but that isn't all as far as the effects goes you can actually activate different modes of the effects on here by holding or long pressing some of these controls. So if you long press, I believe it's the mod button, I'll have to double check that, you, uh, you basically enact a freeze mode. And the freeze mode basically just increases the time of the delay and the reverb to, so that you can hit a chord and it'll basically go on forever. And then you also get a enhance, is it called enhance? Em emphasize emphasis emphasis is what it's called i can't believe i'm remembering as much as i am off the top of my head give me a little credit here the emphasis mode on this thing uh will basically just take whatever modulation effect that you have enacted at the time and it will kind of increase it it'll make it deeper and more noticeable so if you want to essentially kind of take your modulation effect and send it over the top without leaning down and adjusting your controls you just long press that button and it will do it automatically for you. But wait, there's more. I feel like a crappy TV salesman. I'm just trying to recite all this stuff, guys. You're gonna get my honest opinions on how this thing functions and how it sounds. But for right now, I'm just kind of going over everything that's built into this thing just because there's so much. But all right, down here, we have a tuner. So you press these two buttons together, you get a tuner, and this is an OLED display. It is basically, it is really bright and kind of designed to function or be visible even on like really, really dark stages where you might be using this thing. And this thing has MIDI capability. So whatever that you're adjusting with your MIDI controller, if you do have one connected to the unit, it, it'll actually tell you what's being controlled on the OLED display of this thing as well. And I think that that's finally it for the front panel, but we got to move to the rear of this thing and there's a ton going on back here so on the rear panel here we have an in and an out the in is for your guitar that's where you plug your guitar in the out is actually so you can send basically everything that's going on on this pedal out to a separate power source or a power amp out to the front of your amplifier if you're running in the, this into a clean channel of another amp for whatever reason i don't know why you would do that but it essentially gives you like a slave out to send out to another amplifier if that is what you're trying to do down here we have an effects loop and then moving over here this is probably one of the highlights of the unit because this thing has uh the architect software capability this is able to function with black stars architect software and it's basically a fully featured suite that not only allows you to control this pedal inside the architect software but you're going to gain a whole bunch of functionality out of that software you get a whole cab impulse response section we've got a three-way switch here in order to control which impulse response that you have selected and those can be programmed you've got the usb connector here so you can actually plug this in and you get like a four-way stereo recording out by plugging this usb 
into your computer as opposed to just using something like the XLR out. But we also have a line out. This can be used for headphones, this can go to a mixer, this can go to an interface. And then same with the XLR out here. You can send this out to front of house or you can send it into your interface. And controlling the level of all this, you have a little, little control here and you can actually control the output of each of these with that level control. And of course, they're, you know, they're all some, they're all gonna be controlled uh, via this one level control. You can't control them individually, at least it's not as, not as far as I'm aware, there might be something in the software, but yeah. So not only do you get this crazy stage pedal here with high headroom, 100 watts of high headroom, and yes, it does have high headroom, guys. I use this to basically product test it before I made this video at band practice. My other guitarist plays a 5150 and a dual rectifier. So I'm competing against a lot of mids and a lot of volume. This thing hung easily. I had the master volume probably just above 50% and it was not breaking a sweat, but I can tell you that this thing can easily hang in any loud band situation that you might find yourself in. Right, back to the back because I'm getting distracted. Over here, we have a fan. It's a fan. And then we also have our MIDI connections and Blackstar in the package, in the box. They give you the little MIDI adapters that connect to these two MIDI input and outputs here. Uh, we've got our 16 ohm and our 8 ohm jack. And then here, another, another cool feature. They give you two 9 volt output so if you have additional pedals that you want to run with this thing so you have 500 milliamps worth of power to power whatever you know whatever other pedals that you might want to connect to this thing so i think that that's about it i'm sure that there's stuff that i missed but guys the price on this which i probably should have said off the bat in the video i'm not very good at doing these like product feature type videos i'm normally just a grip it and rip it type dude so bear with me but 650 bucks. You get everything here for $650. That is insanely competitive with the market, with other amplifiers of this nature, these, you know, amp and a pedal type amps that have the built-in power section and everything. There is just so much value packed into this unit for the gigging guitarist because, you know, this thing has just about everything that you could need. But here's the important thing. None of that matters if it sounds bad. So let's throw it up on a cab here and uh, let's see what this thing is capable of. All right, for all my faithful viewers, my belligerent amateurs out there, we have to break a cardinal rule. Uh, we don't have to. They actually didn't tell me that I had to do anything particular for this video. I get to do whatever I want, but I want to show you guys uh, all three of the voicings faithfully. So we're going to check out the two clean channels real quick and then we're going to get into the high gain tones. So I'm going to flip this up into the U USA voicing. We're going to flip it down into the 6L6 response mode and we're going to keep it on the 100 watt for now. But here is the clean sound that this thing offers. All right, so that is our USA clean. Let's go over to the UK clean. Remember, think uh, AC30. <laughs> yeah, AC30s are super, super bright. So let's pull that mid back because that was ridiculous. And the treble. As you can hear, we're getting a little bit of breakup. Let's pump that gain up a little bit. These tones are not by any means my bread and butter, but that sounds like an AC30, uh, at least close to, to my ears. Back up into that USA setting. Let's actually flip it to the EL30, EL84 power response because that's what an AC30 has. <laughs> I 
It sounds pretty convincing to me, and it is super loud in the room. Our master volume is not very high at all. Let's kick on one of the drive settings. Let's kick on the actual uh, drive itself. Pull the controls back here. All right, so that's with the drive. Let's try the boost. All right, so that's kind of like pushing the front end a little bit. Let's turn that level up. And finally, here's our fuzz. And as you can tell, it's going to be noisy. So there's a fuzz tone. Let's go back just for a second just for a second over to that USA clean. Let's scoop those mids out and let's try to get kind of like a, you know, just a really chimey clean tone. Holy God, that's loud. All right, let's pull the volume back a little bit. It's because I have that drive out in front. Honestly, the clean on this sounds awesome. You guys know I don't do that stuff much. Been dabbling a little bit, but let's try to get like, uh, you know, some sort of like shoegazy thing going on where we just have some crazy effects. We're gonna turn all these effects on. And of course, there's the freeze and there's the enhance modes. We'll check those. We won't check those out because I don't know what I'm doing with those. I don't even know what I'm doing with these effects. Blackstar, I'm sorry. You're probably not getting your money's worth. I'm not being paid for this video. But my audience is here for the super high gain stuff. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So we are going to turn all these effects off. One thing I do want to test real quick. How well do these clean channels take pedals? If you want to use the clean channel on this as a, as a pedal platform, since it's technically only a one channel amp, you can't switch between the voicings. Let's kick on a Soldano SLO pedal. That sounds really good with a pedal in front of it, honestly. All right, so it takes a distortion pedal in front of it just fine. Uh, we're still on the EL84 response setting. Let's go down to the 6L6. Uh, this thing also, I forgot to mention, this has a lot of low end in the signal. Let's turn the gain back, the bass back on the, on the clean channel a little bit. All right, so it's gonna work as a pedal platform. I can tell you that already. The way that it's taking the SLO pedal in front of this thing, um, we can go from fully clean. Duncan Distortion, not the greatest uh, clean pickup, but that was the clean. Takes a distortion pedal like an absolute champ. That's impressive, honestly. That's really exciting. Uh, in my personal opinion. But here we go. We're going down into the classic mode on the amplifier. We are in 6L6. Response, we'll check out the EL84 as well. We are in the 100 watt setting as well. And you can see when we adjust that volume, it shows you the setting right here on that OLED display. All right, so it is a little bit light on the bass. Let's add some bass. Let's pull that treble back a tad, maybe a little bit more mid, and let's dime that game. A lot like the St. James, uh, it's not the highest gain amplifier on its own, but we have a drive section to kind of fix that or help it out if we need to. I gotta say, guys, honestly, is, is it my favorite distortion sound in the world? No. Is it impressive for being contained in this unit? Yes. And is it something that I think that we can shape into a really good tone using not only this drive pedal, but maybe an EQ in the loop? I think it's definitely there for sure. Let's turn on that drive. We're gonna go to the drive setting. 
And we're gonna treat this like an overdrive. Let's turn that level all the way up, drive all the way down, tone in the middle. It's a little bright, but listen to those chugs. <laughs> it's doing the thing. It's definitely doing it. Let's pull that treble in that mid back just a tad. I, uh, you guys know, I've told you on the channel before, uh, I, I demoed the HT50 and I wasn't a huge fan of it. And this sounds, I would take this over that HT50 uh, without hesitation. That gain sounds really, really good. It is such a great time to be a guitarist. This video is gonna be six hours long. I apologize, but I'm having fun. I hope you are too. What happens if we dial that mid back? All right, so a little muffled. Let's get that treble up to compensate. Kind of doing that rectifier thing. It's really tight under the hands. Let's get a little bit more mid, a little bit less treble. <laughs> All right, uh, the frequency, there are a couple of frequencies that are a little pokey to my ears at the moment, but I can tell you that those were the frequencies that, that made this thing sit out in front of a Rev E dual rectifier. So pretty impressive. All right, so let's actually add some drive from our drive setting because it's still a little bit dry on the saturation level. All right, so now we have some saturation. Let's bump those mids back up. Let's bring that treble back. More. All right, so the tone on the drive setting, I just spit everywhere, is, <laughs> is very sensitive. It can be kind of over the top, actually. All right, it's a little smoother there, so let's add some treble back in. All right, super punchy. It's got a really nice feel under the hand. Uh, a little bit more treble. That's the only thing that I'm having a little bit of trouble balancing out is that top end to get it where I personally like it. I don't know, man. It sounds pretty, pretty good. And again, if we were to throw something like the Guptech PDEQ in the loop, I think that that would immediately give me the presence control that I want. And we have an effects loop on this thing, so we can do that. Uh, we are in the EL, uh, EL, EL 34 power section response thing. There we go. There's my mids. And again, we still have effects. So if you want to play a lead, kick on your delay and your reverb. That's way too much. <laughs> let's pull the level and let's pull the time back.
You can probably tell I've never played on the lead in my life, but you can just kick that stuff on if you want a quick little flavor for your lead. I'm, I'm really impressed by it. I honestly am, guys. I'm impressed by this thing. Again, is it my dream tone? No. But if my band goes back to Europe, which we're talking about doing next year, uh, now instead of having to rent an amp and an entire pedal board and everything else, all I have to do is throw this in the front pocket of my bag of my guitar that is going to be my carry-on, and I now have literally an entire rig. The only thing I have to do is hook up to a speaker. Real quick though, let's turn off these effects. How does it take an external boost? That's what I want to know. Here is my Boss MXM77 Overdrive. You guys know that this is one of my favorite overdrives. This will be the last tone and then we'll, uh, we'll get out of here. But here we go. Here's the amp with no overdrive on. And here it is with the MXR M77. This, is, this video has been a lot of fun for me. Thanks to Zounds for sending this thing out. Thank you, Blackstar. Two critiques, two quick critiques, uh, just so I'm not sitting here giving it the world's most glowing review other than saying the tone isn't you know, my absolute favorite in the world. Uh, I wish it had a resonance and presence control. I think that that would be a really nice addition. And then I think they really, really kind of missed the mark by not including a noise gate in this thing. This thing is so self-contained. It's so fully functional that literally the only other thing that this thing is missing is a noise gate to basically make this the only unit that I would carry in my gig bag. If this had a built-in noise gate, I would not carry an additional drive because I think the built-in boost sounded great. So yeah, if this thing had a noise gate, it would literally be 100% the entire package and I would not have to bring any additional pedals with me and I would be happy with what is coming out of this unit. So those are my two critiques as far as features that I think that they may have missed. But otherwise, man, it's it's all here. I know it's a bit of a glowing review on my end, and I, I hate giving super positive reviews to uh, pieces of gear that are sent to me for free. But if it's awesome, it's awesome. And I think this thing is awesome. So there, you have it. If you guys would like to purchase this again, $649. It is on sale as of today, and you can get it at the link down below from my friends over at Zounds. And if you can't quite afford that 649 up front, well, they have awesome payment plans. So go ahead and make a bad decision. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you have any questions on this unit, leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time. You know what this wall is missing? Another ant. There we go.